Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Apple. So let us quickly look at some of the questions based on HCF. Find the HCF of 34 and 102. So we will find it out by prime factorization method. So 2 17 is a 34, 17 is a prime number so 17 into 1. So 34 can be written as 2 into 17. Now let us do prime factorization of 102. So this would be 2 5 is a 10, 2 1 is a 2. This would be 3 1 is a 3, 3 7 is a 21. So this would be 17 into 1. So 102 can be written as 2 into 3 into 17. Now let us mark the common that we have. 2 is common here, 2 is also common here. 17 is present here, 17 is also present here. So 2 and 17, these are the common things. Now can you tell me what would be the HCF? So even though I can't hear you, but please tell it by yourself so that you know you get to understand it, so that you learn it. So how, how what would be the HCF now? 2 is also common in both, 17 is also common in both. So we know the common factors, but I want to find the highest common factor. So what we will do? we will multiply the common factors that is 2 into 17 this entire package is common in both so basically the HCF of 34 and 102 is 34 find the HCF of 12 45 and 75 so you can even find HCF between three numbers this is going to be interesting so let's do prime factorization of 12 so 2 6 is a 12 2 3 is a 6 and then 3 1 is a 3. So 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3. Let's do it for 45. So this would be, th we will divide it by 3. 3 1 is a 3, 3 5 is a 15. Again 3 5 is a 15 and then 5 1 is a 5. So 45 can be written as 3 into 3 into 5. The third one is 75. So this would again not by 3 but this would be divisible by 5. So 5 1 is a 5 and then 5 5 is a 25. Again 5 3 is a 15 then 3 1 is a 3. So 75 can be written as 5 into 5 into 3. So this is how we have done the prime factorizations. Now let us try to find out the common thing. Now here when we find something common that means that number should be present in all of them. So 2, do you think 2 is a common factor for all of them? No. What about 3? So 3 exists here, 3 also exists here and 3 also exists here. So 3 is one common factor. So what is the other common factor? 2 is not a common factor because it is not present in both of them. 5, 5 is present, 5 is a factor of 45, 5 is also a factor of 75, but 5 is not a factor of 12. So what would be the HCF? Because here the only common factor is 3. So the HCF of 12, 45 and 75 would be 3. Now, if you want to verify the HCF using the alternative method, that is using the same method of factors, you can even do that and you will arrive at the same result. So if you want to try, you can give it a try, but again, you will arrive at the same result. Question number three, find the HCF of 91, 112 and 49. Find the HCF of 91, 112 and 49. So here also we will do the same procedure. That is we will first do prime factorization of each of these numbers. So let us start with 91. So 7 is the smallest prime number by which it is completely divisible. So this would be 13 and this would be like 13 into 1. So 91 can be written as 7 into 13. Next is 112. So 2 5 is a 10, 2 6 is a 12, 2 2 is a 4, 2 8 is a 16, 2 1 is a 2, 2 4 is a 8, 2 7 is a 14, 7 1 is a 7. So 112 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. The third number that is 49, this can be written as 7 into 7 and then 7 into 1 is 7. 
So 49 can be written as 7 into 7. So let us find out the common factors. So 7 is a common factor because it is present in all of them. Other than that, do you have any common factors? No. Therefore, HCF of 91, 112 and 49 is 7. Question number 4. What is the HCF of two consecutive numbers? So you think of any two consecutive numbers, what would be the HCF? So let us take examples and then see the results. So let us talk about two numbers like 4 and 5. So what would be the HCF of 4 and 5? So do you want to try? So let us, let us try this. Now 4 can be written as So, or we can say there are two different ways of doing it. One way is 4 can be written as 2 into 2. 5 can be written as 5 into 1. Now, when you write 2 into 2, you explicitly, you actually mean 2 into 2 into 1. So, which is the common factor that you have? So, 1 is the common factor. Therefore, HCF will be equal to 1. So, even if you do it by the other process, let us talk about 4. So, what are the factors of 4? 1, 2 and 4. What are the factors of 5? 1 and 5. So, which is a common factor? 1. So, which is the highest common factor? It is 1. So, by both the methods, you see that HCF of two consecutive numbers, whether it is 4, 5, whether it is 15, 16 or it is 9900, for any two consecutive numbers, their HCF will always be 1. Let's talk about two consecutive even numbers. So what do we mean by two consecutive even numbers? For example, if one number is 4, the other number would be 6. Even numbers are those numbers which are divisible by 2. So 4 and 6. So let us look at it. So what are the factors of 4? 1, 2, 4. What are the factors of 6? 1, 2, 3, 6. So what is the HCF? So here this is a common factor 1, another common factor is 2. So which is the highest common factor? Definitely 2. Let us look at some other examples. Take one more example. Let's consider 24 and 26. So for 24, what are the factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. These are the factors for 24. For 26, the factors would be 1, 2, 13 and 26. So here also you see 1 is a common factor and 2 is another common factor. So the highest common factor by this method also is 2. If you want you can find out, try to find out the HCF using prime factorization method. There also you will get the same result. So when you talk about HCF of two consecutive even numbers like 4, 6, 24, 26, 28, 30, 2, 4. So for any two consecutive even numbers the HCF will always be 2. Now the third one that is two consecutive odd numbers. Now let's consider two consecutive odd numbers for example 3 and 5. Now when you try to write the factors of 3 you get 1 and 3. For 5 you get 1 and 5. So common factor is 1. Therefore HCF would be 1. Similarly if you take example of 101 and 103 these are two consecutive odd numbers that is numbers which are not divisible by 2. So 101 factors would be 1 and 101, 103 factors would be 1 and 103. So here also the HCF would be 1. In fact, you can try it out with any other set of odd numbers, but they should be consecutive like 5, 7, like 7, 9, 9, 11. So any of these pairs, if you try to find out their HCF, the HCF will come out to be 1. Question number 5. HCF of co-prime numbers 4 and 15 was found as follows by factorization. 4 is equal to 2 into 2 and 15 is equal to 3 into 5. Since there is no common factor, there is no common prime factor, so HCF of 4 and 15 is 0. Is the answer correct? Absolutely not. Because when we write 2 into 2, there is basically a 1 hidden here. 
which we do not write because multiplying anything by one will give the number itself. So basically there is a one which is being hidden here. So one is always a common factor between any two numbers. Doesn't matter whichever numbers they are, whether they are odd or even they are consecutive or non-consecutive. For any two numbers, you will always have one as a common factor. One will always be there. Now other than one, you might have many more common factors, but one will be there. So in this case, the HCF will not be equal to zero, but it would be equal to one. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.